Hi there, Toy here, and guess what? It's time to get graphic, people. <laughs> no, just kidding. I'm not going to be getting graphic, but this is my video all about my February graphic novel readathon. And so I mentioned in my reading challenge video, if you saw it, sorry playing around with my glasses. Um, so I've never done a readathon because I find most of them intimidating. <laughs> Usually it's like a 24 hour, 48 hour, like a three day thing where you tr try to read as much possible. And I don't know, I don't do good with like stress and anxiety and deadlines. I mean, that's not really true. When it comes to like my job and work and stuff, if I have deadlines to meet, I mean, I blog all the time and I meet deadlines. I don't know, but I just feel like when it comes to like reading, because it's so much something that I enjoy, putting pressure on that like takes away that joy. So even though I've always wanted to do one, I've never done one for fear of that. So I decided to create my own. If any of you would like to join me, I would, that would be so amazing if you would like join me for my February graphic novel readathon. I mean, I would love for you guys to like let me know that you've never read a graphic novel and you're going to read one that month. Or maybe you've read so many and you're excited about the challenge. I don't know. But anyway, one of the reasons why I decided to do the graphic novel February readathon is because in the month of February, I am constantly bombarded with notions of romance and Valentine's and all that kind of stuff like everyone else. And I, I don't mind it. I really don't. I mean, I think it's great that people get romantic in February. Personally, me and my husband do not celebrate Valentine's Day as a couple. We celebrated it one time the very first year we were dating. And we were dating for, I think, two or three years after that before we got married. And ever since we've been married in those two, three years where we weren't married, we've never done it again. <laughs> Me and my husband, we do a lot of wonderful things for each other throughout the year. And it is such a relief to know that come February 14th, neither one of us needs to feel obligated to do something for the other. It is, I think, one of the things that has kept the glue of our relationship strong. <laughs> but it does get kind of annoying when people constantly ask me, what are we doing and why aren't we doing anything? Blah, 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 blah. So this year, it'll be kind of interesting to tell people that, that we're doing a readathon together. Now, that's not why I'm doing this, but that's one of the perks of it. I'll be able to say that to people. I'm mainly doing this readathon because, like I said, I've never done one. I've wanted to, and because I have a lot of graphic novels sitting around my house that I haven't read and I need to read them, and this will be motivation for me to read them. So basically, I have a couple that I've collected in physical form that I'll show you here in a second. Then I have a whole bunch of digital ones. Uh, if you've followed me online at all, you probably know that I read a lot of ebooks. Ebooks are convenient and they are inexpensive. That's what it boils down to. My, and I've gotten to the point where it's my preferred way to read now, but I still like to read paperbacks whenever I can get my hands on them. And um, I do love a good hardback. But they're they're bulky they're bulky and they're heavy and there's nothing convenient about them they're really pretty don't get me wrong if you were to give me a hardback i would thank you and i would be sincere I find that if i get to choose what kind of printed material i receive as a gift i ask for a paperback but mostly i ask for digital products it's just convenient for me i have quite a few graphic novels in digital form so i will be showing you some things here so here is a little stack yeah, hold on. <laughs> I didn't plan this out very well. <laughs> so anyway, this is a stack of some of the graphic novels. This isn't all of them, and I'll explain why this isn't all of them in a second. And then I'll also go through some of the um, digital ones. So there are 21, I believe, all together that I plan to read them on February. So let's just get to it. So I plan to read Monstress Volume 1, um, Awakening. I plan to read The Wicked and the Divine, Volume 1, The Faust Act. I'll be reading Number James, Number 1. That's also, you know, all of these are digital until otherwise noted. <laughs> um, I'll be reading X-Men Season 1, and then I'll be reading Wool, a graphic novel. This is probably the only graphic novel that I know absolutely nothing about. I actually 
downloaded this from Amazon by accident, but it was on sale when I saw what the original price was for it and I saw what I was paying for it. I was like, I'll just keep it. <laughs> I didn't know anything about it, but so it's it's going to be in there. Yeah. Um, I will be reading Wires and Nerves Volume 1. That's part of the Lunar Chronicles. I believe it is a spinoff about one of the cyborg. No, no, no. This is not the cyborg character. This is more of one of the android characters, I believe, that this story is about. I also have another one called McBlack. And this is a graphic novel that I downloaded so long ago that I barely remember downloading it. And again, I know absolutely nothing about it. I believe I got a good deal for it. So <laughs> I will be reading Descender Volume 1, um, 10 stars. I'm excited about that. I've heard some things about this one. I'll be reading The Sworn Sword. This is from the Game of Thrones series. This is the Hedge Knight graphic novel number two, which means there is a number one. And no, I don't feel bad about not having read number one. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. I'm probably one of the few people who hasn't either read the entire Game of Thrones series or watched the Game of Thrones series on TV. Now, before you go oh, too much, I did read the first book in the series. I am interested in watching the TV series one day. But after reading the first series, I knew that there were certain things in the content of the story that just didn't appeal to me and while the idea of you know dragons is awesome it's just not something that I'm in a hurry to get to I'll get to in one day people so just you know chill whatever the next couple of things that I want to read this is getting into my paperbacks let's see here I'm going to be reading one of my all-time favorite children's series in graphic novel form so I'm going to be reading the wonderful wizard of Oz that's the first book and then I'll be reading The Marvelous Land of Oz and then I'll be reading Ozma of Oz and those are the three that I currently have I have three more coming in that particular series so that's why I don't have the books for them yet but you'll see the images here I'll be reading Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz that's number four I'll be reading The Road to Oz which is number five and then I'll be reading The Emerald City of Oz, which is number six. Now, the actual middle grade series has, I think, 15 books in the series. But those are the only series that are in the graphic novel. Next thing I'll be reading is Angel Boy. And I actually got this at a Comic-Con. This was Supercon in Raleigh, North Carolina. I saw the author. She was so cute. And if you know anything about me at all, I love angels. So why wouldn't I read a graphic novel about angels? All right, next I am going to be reading something that I've had in my possession for a really long time. And it's one of those things where I was going to read it before the movie came out and <laughs> that didn't happen. I saw the movie and then was never motivated to go back and read the graphic novel. So yeah, I'm going to read Scott Pilgrim's Precious Life. This is the first one in the series. Depending upon how this goes, I might actually go back and read the whole Scott Pilgrim story. I don't know. But yeah, I've had this for so long. The next thing that I want to read is, and oh yeah, and these are not really in order. I should probably have started out with that. This is just the order they're on my list. <laughs> is Paper Girls. I've heard a lot of good things about it and I want to read it. So yeah. I also want to read Legion of Monsters. I, I don't know if you noticed, but I kind of have a thing for monsters. Yeah. So this is put out by Marvel and it looks like a mashup of some classic monsters I don't want to give too much away but I'm excited I, I just picked this up at the um, comic book store one day because I could I'm pretty sure I showed you this book last year of course this is something that I never got to last year it wasn't on my original list so I don't feel too bad and that is Arcane Awakening and this is another um, angel based story so yeah I gotta read that and then this last thing that I got here, it's kind of cheesy, but I'm totally into it. This is Edgar Allan Poe's poems, The Raven, and some other things in graphic novel form. This is one of those Barnes & Noble-like exclusives that they, they put together, like compilations. And it was in the bargain bin. And who doesn't like a good bargain? And who doesn't like Edgar Allan Poe? So, yeah, and it's in graphic novel form. So they're already stories that I'm familiar with. I just want to see how they look in that. So that should be the 21 
graphic novels that I plan to read in February. So I'm excited. I'm overwhelmed, um, but I'm going to do it. I mean, they're graphic novels, right? Like, I should just, like, not stress about it and enjoy this. So if you are going to join me and read graphic novels in the month of February, please let me know below. Or just tell me, you know, have you read any of these? Or are you interested, not interested? Any, either way, I'm stoked. So that's all for now. Bye-bye.